The Object 268 version 4 is a tier 10 Soviet collector tank destroyer. It's a vehicle which features incredible frontal protection, solid damage per minute, and a very beefy alpha damage. When you pair all these things together into a little ball, you create quite a capable tank destroyer, especially when you get on town-sided flat ground engagements, where you are able to work this vehicle most effective. Now, I literally just did a video on the V4 earlier this week, talking about how it's going to be getting mega nerfed with the enhanced armor reduction in its, you know, armor, and the fact that Calibrated is going to be giving every vehicle more penetration, it's going to take away this vehicle's armor capabilities. But you know what? I can't get all too mad, because I played an absolutely insane battle on livestream that I just had to showcase today. Uh, th this is one of the craziest games I've played in a while in Tier 10. It was a carry and a tank destroyer, which normally TDs don't get crazy carries out. But this game, well, it was absolutely a badonkulous. So we're going to start off this battle by making our way, well, ideally towards base B. Unfortunately, as you're going to notice, well, our team doesn't want that to work out. Well, yep, I noticed immediately, oh boy, my entire team is going to base A. Now, I don't mind going to A, depending on what tank I'm driving, and the 268 version 4 is not an awful vehicle to drive towards this side of the map. The thing is, is you rely on your team to not make a stupid move. That's the thing. And when your team usually goes to A, they usually make stupid moves, and you're going to watch that happen a lot this game. Thankfully, the V4 is such a capable vehicle that uh, we are able to bring it back a bit. But the question is, will this game be a win, or will it be a loss? Well, we're going to start off this battle by pushing right out into the open and aiming in on the VK-90. We get a nice slap for 640 into his turret, and we block 450 from the enemy AMX M4. Okay, well, we can see the AMX damage. We've already blocked 1,300. We've already dealt 1,300. Now, the C-100 gets shot, right? He pokes out sideways, bleeds health. He's done this two times now, and both times he's done it, he's bled about 800 health. What do you think the U-100 is going to do for the third time? Gee, let me guess. Drive out sideways in front of the entire team again? Whoa! Who would have guessed that? Loses 1,000 health. Common sense is clearly absent in a World of Tanks player's mind, because common sense would dictate that you don't sit out in the open. But the E-100 dies, poking it once again. Third time's the charm, and for him, it definitely was. Well, in that amount of time, we've blocked 1,800 damage and dealt over 2,500. Our Emil 2 is pretty frickin' blind and doesn't see the Kampf Panzer shooting at him, so I have to punish the KPZ for sitting out in the open. We aim it on his track wheel and get a nice shot. Like, what the heck is our Emil 2 aiming at, bruh? Maybe his turret was jammed, but I don't know. Bro is pretty frickin' oblivious. This entire team I had here, I mean, what is this Emil aiming at? Do you see that guy? Like, what? Dude's like, uh, uh. Uh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty dang bad. When you get teammates like this, half the time you just gotta bend over and take it, because you're not gonna win. But thankfully, our V4 gun has been working pretty good so far. These shots were mandatory to hit, and in fact, if I didn't hit that shot right there, this game probably would have been a loss. Well, maybe not. I don't know. With the, uh, motion there hitting the shot on the AMX, that definitely helps. I have the Hori in front of me, and I know I cannot allow that Hori to shoot me and aim in. So I'm just going to snap the shell into his vehicle. I think we gave it an adequate amount of aiming time. And we were able to get the shot out. At this point, I'm going to shoot the E-75. Now you might say, why not kill the low health tank? Well, mostly because I don't really care about the VK-90. I don't think he's that much of a threat. I think the high health E-75 is a much bigger problem. And that's what I'm going to try and deal with the threat at hand. So we absolutely obliterate this E-75. And then we have our motion. And he's no camo, which you already know means not great things. We back up, we manage to bounce the shell from the AMX, but uh, yeah, our motion, uh, he's not doing great things right now. We do get some good damage out, though. We're up to 5,800. We've blocked 2,720. The AMX fires an AP shell at me. You fool. Cannot pen this vehicle with AP. We're at 3,170 blocked. 
And is Armboishin going to pen the shot? No, he shoots him in the track and does not pen the shell. Very annoying. All right, well, we're going to aim it on the Panzer. I don't have enough pen to cut through him with APCR standard because for some reason Wargaming gave this tank APCR standard. But not the biggest deal ever. We load a heat shell. We do run Cali, so it's not like we have to worry. At this point, now we can kill the VK-90. As I said, the VK really just wasn't that much of a threat. So we finish off his vehicle. We got a Kampf Panzer and a Yag. And you know what? The Kampf Panzer's driving right for me! Oh, okay, I guess we just don't do any damage when we ram him. Well, that's really unfortunate. We just repair our tank, right? You'll notice that I had a damaged loader just a second ago. And because of that, I had to use my multi-use repair kit so that we could fix it and obviously aim in on the Yag. Now, the Yag is going to shoot at basically the same time as me. And normally, I would out-reload him. But he damaged my loader again! Really? 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 That's crazy. So what was a sure victory is now possibly defeat, all because of me having to fix my loader two times in a row. What the heck? Man, that's very unfortunate. The good news is that the V4 reverse is very fast, so we were able to get ourselves out of that situation very quickly. Now, at this point, I have a feeling the Yag isn't going to make too aggressive of a maneuver. The Yag actually gets spotted, but doesn't detect us. That's one of the downsides of being a huge German super heavy. So because of that, this Yag has no clue where I am. And he's probably thinking I'm going to roll off to the side more than the front. So I said, you know what? Screw it. I got one heat shell left. I'm going to roll around the corner. I slam a shell into his vehicle. And just like that, we kill the Yag. 7,580 damage. Now, that's not the most insane damage ever. I mean, the highest game ever played in a V4 is 9,000. But the fact that we pulled out six kills, blocked 4K, and finished off a 1 versus 3, honestly a 1 versus 4, uh, yeah, let's be real. This was like a one versus seven with the team we had. <laughs> but, uh, wow, uh, that was a pretty painful game. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, that was one of the crazier carries I've had in a while. And there you have it, as classic, the 183 dealing zero. Yeah. Uh, the 183 is still the worst tank in the game for beginners to get. Please don't grind for the tank. It, it shows you just how quickly a game can go from being an easy win and got up against opponents that have no clue what they're doing to an absolutely painful finish. I don't think we really made any mistakes that battle. We positioned our vehicle properly. We made sure to shoot the most important targets at every single situation. The only real issue we ran into was our loader getting damaged two times in a row. That was completely RNG based. There's nothing I could do about it. That paired with the fact that I rammed the conf panzer did zero like what i have no clue how that did not kill the kpz it's almost like wargaming was watching and saying nah let's make it more difficult it'll be fun to watch because for any of you that play the 268 version 4 you know that this vehicle is incredibly good at ramming it is very heavy its frontal protection allows it to easily ram people and deal damage and I feel like 9 times out of a 10, that would have done at least 20 damage to the Kampf Panzer, but I, I don't know. Didn't kill him. That got me really disappointed, especially during livestream when I was playing the game. But we turned it into a victory. I am uh, I'm just still bewildered by this game. As always, if you enjoy content like this and you want to see it live, make sure to stay tuned for the live streams. I do them almost daily. However, I'll be busy for the next couple days, so I guess you won't be seeing them for until Monday. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed today's stream, and I'll see you all in the next one, video, whatever you want to call it. Bye-bye.